In this video, we're going to create a simple parallax scrolling feature that you see here using just a few lines of HTML and CSS. So our background is going to be a pretty dark colored uh, wood stain picture that we'll scroll through here with um, some text just saying, saying space on either side. So open on the right side here, I have an index.html file open and a style.css file that are both blank. So in HTML, uh, let's get started with our doc type. So I'm just going to write doc type HTML for the HTML document itself and then write a head section so we can reference the uh, CSS style sheet that we have off to the right hand side. So I'll just write style.css for the href which is the link, the link to and then let me just drop this head text down a line so the uh, link to the style sheet is nested within the head tag. Okay, so next let's drop down a line and add the body tag and then we can close out the HTML tag itself uh, from doc type HTML. Okay, so next within the body, let's get started with the simple uh, space te text that we have there. So I'm just going to write first a h1 tag for heading 1 and write space. And then the tag in the middle will be an h2 tag. So just write h2 and space and then close the h2 tag and then the third will be the same as the first just uh, h1 and space. So now if I go over to the uh, index.html file that I have on my desktop that we're editing we just have the three um, lines of space text there. So next let's add the actual parallax uh, HTML tags. So this is just going to be a section class that we'll call parallax. You can really call it whatever you like. Uh, I'm just going to call it parallax. And then within the section class, we'll just make a div class for the inside of the parallax section. So I'll just call this div class parallax inner. So parallax dash inner. Okay, and then you can drop that down a line. And we'll actually just want to copy and uh, paste this heading to tag into the parallax section here. Okay, and then if you like you can rearrange the spacing between these or take the spacing out completely. It doesn't really make a difference in the HTML. It's just your preference. So I'll just add a little space here so it's easier to, to read. Okay, and then just make sure that's saved. And next let's go over to the style sheet and get started with our CSS. Okay, so go over to style.css and I'm going to get started with a simple reset tag or reset style rather for the document itself. So you the reset style is for taking away any inherent style that the browser might want to push onto the HTML document. So we'll just tell it to inherently have zero margin, zero padding, and zero border. Okay, so next you can drop down a line and let's style the H1 tag. 
So we'll tell the heading one to text align center on the page. And then let's give the font size a size of 575%. So this is going to be kind of large. So there we go with the font size. And then I'll come back over here. And let's give it a color of, this is going to be sort of like a grayish, uh, dark gray color. So 4A and then 4 fours. So 4A, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4. And then text transformation uppercase for uppercase letters. And then let's give it a little letter spacing for style of uh, one, we'll give it 1% between the letters. So if we refresh it, it's going to take um, a different look to it, which is very similar to the original here. And next, um, let's give it some margin. So we'll give it a margin of 45% top bottom and zero left right. So if we refresh now, you're going to have a 45% margin of the page on top and bottom of the H1 tags. So now just copy the H1 style and then paste it below and we'll just change a few things for the H2 tag, the heading 2. So change the font size to 275 percent and then we'll just change the color to a whitish gray color. This is E5, E5, E5. for this uh, space text down here. So here it is right now. And then let's take um, the margin 45% away. Okay, so next let's drop down. And this is up to you, but if you like, you can write a comment in here in the CSS. Um, that won't affect the rest of the document. Just saying that the actual CSS for the parallax section of the page is starting and then you can write another comment or note um, for where it ends. So I'll just write end parallax. Okay, so now let's do the two simple parallax styles. So the first will just be uh, parallax class, so dot for the class instead of the pound sign for a ID in HTML. So dot parallax for the section class parallax. And this is going to be the um, actual image. So we're just going to give this uh, a background style with URL for the image and then add the image link in here. So it's going to be www.w3newbie.com forward slash WP content forward slash uploads. Uh, forward slash parallax dash two dot jpeg jpg okay and then we'll just want to add another thing uh, after the link there to the image so right now I'm just gonna um, leave it like this and show you how it will appear so if we scroll through it right now that background image of the stained wood is just gonna scroll with the text itself so if we write fixed, that's going to stay on one spot of the page. So you'll see that it's staying uh, fixed as a background image right now. And then if we write repeat fixed 100%, this is what we want. So this is going to repeat the image so it takes up 100% of the screen and still say picks or still say still st stay fix <laughs> okay so for this space text right here um, you can 
add uh, whatever content you want and the parallax section will flex to the uh, height of the content but what we're going to do is next uh, we'll style the inner parallax inner div class to make it so you don't have to rely on content to take up the space for the parallax section to display so we'll just add a little bit of margin um, or padding on top and bottom of the H2 space text here. So just write dot parallax dash inner and then open and close and then we'll give this a padding top of let's give it 10 percent and then we'll give it a padding bottom of 10 percent again and let's see how this looks so if we refresh there we have some padding on top and bottom of the space but the original has a little bit more padding so let's change this to 18 percent and then give it a look okay so now if we refresh it's going to be pretty similar to the original there scrolling through okay so that looks good that does it for the simple uh, pure HTML and CSS parallax scrolling feature I thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video